Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh-huh. Pointers in the paddock gave my peace. A push a piece. Uh, cop no hair, I'ma fuck my piece. We don't want no peace.
I just left the dentist. I had to get some work done. And, um, sheesh. <laughs> I'm actually really tired because I didn't get any sleep last night. Um, I was up until like 5.30, 6 o'clock, actually 6 o'clock. And I woke up at, hmm, what time did I wake up this morning? I woke up at like 7.55. So I literally only got about two hours of sleep today. But I can't go to sleep or take a nap because we have so much stuff to do. It is currently 11.35. I need to head back home because I'm in Marietta right now. So I'll drop off the medication and go home. Start working on some wigs. And by the time it's time for me to leave out again, I can pick up my prescription possibly. And then run errands. And then go pick up the my belongings. Come back home and have my meeting with my professor and um, work on my project yeah we have a full day today and because we also have to create some content tonight or this evening so we have a, comp a full day today mm, i'm trying to figure out how can i create content this evening with my face like this oh i don't know how is this gonna work we're gonna figure it out, Kendris. We're gonna figure this shit out. Lego. 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 Okay, I just left my virtual office to pick up a package and now I'm about to go into Kroger's to get some soft food, like some pasta and some noodles and stuff like that so I can at least eat tonight because your girl looks hungry. <laughs> I'm starving, so oh, let's go. I can't fucking go in there. I had my fucking pocket of fucking gogs in my lap so it's blood on my pants it looks like i'm on my cycle i can't go in there damn what a dummy nice and i, I mean i could get a smoothie but i want no goddamn smoothie all right so i just made it home and the package that i got for my virtual office was from saint perry uh, i'll show you guys later what that is but as of right now i'm going to make me some ramen and then take some pictures and create some content for my wig sale that I'm gonna have coming up. And yeah, your girl is tired, I'm a little exhausted and it doesn't help that it's gray and gloomy and rainy outside. The struggle's real. You wanna say hi, Nala Poo? Damn, I took a foot. Damn, I took a foot. Damn, I took a foot. Girl, you just a mess, girl. Hilarious. Can't get enough. Can't get enough. You're so damn dramatic. It's very difficult. I gotta put you down, now, because I can't. I can't do this and hold you at the same time. You're gonna be like, you don't wash your hands before you prepare your food after touching your dog. <laughs> no, she's my child. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> Trying to music up three notches. That might be a lot. But... to 
eat the noodles? I don't know. Cause I feel like, or put the parsley leaves on the noodles because I feel like the parsley leaves was like getting wrapped up over there. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and set up my phone. Um, I had to get two new phones over the past week. That's a story time for another day. And my uh, assurance finally sent me a new phone. This is my personal phone. So the phone that I've been work, um, using lately is my work phone. Fortunately, I was able to just go ahead and get an upgrade on that phone because I've had it for a while and I just had to like go ahead and like pay it off. Like pay off the balance of the original phone. But yeah, so I have me a new phone. I feel like everybody's getting a new phone. I've been seeing on everybody's vlogs that people have been literally having the XR and the like XR Max or Max or whatever, 10, 9, whatever. I don't know. Uh, everybody's been getting a new phone. Everybody's been getting a 13, but this is, I only had the 12. So this is the 12 um, Max Pro. So yeah, we're about to set up the new iPhone. And I think later on today, I'm gonna go ahead and try to like organize my screen so that way everything can look all pretty, you know, Instagram aesthetically, Pinterest aesthetically pleasing. You know what I'm saying? I think it's easier to vlog. That could be a trick for you guys. Easier to vlog when you're on the phone, that way you don't feel crazy talking to your camera. <laughs> So like when you were in public, it's like you're talking to someone, but you're also talking, but I'm also talking to my kindreds at the same time. So it's like, we're we're all just in the dialogue right now. So I, I don't, conversation yeah, I don't feel, I don't feel crazy. See, this is the phone that I'm used to. I am not used to holding this little ass phone. I haven't had a little phone since I've had, since they came out with the Max Pros. I've always had the Max Pro, so this is like, literally like a huge difference. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, this is what I'm used to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Purple, purple. I don't know my password to my Wi-Fi. I forgot it. <laughs> Fuck. Is it Kendrick's? Y'all can have my Wi-Fi passcode. Oh my. Cause I don't use that passcode for nothing else. It's not that either. Maybe it's a lowercase. Kindred. Uh, it is Kindred 95. 95. That's, that's, that's what it is. It's Kindred 1995 exclamation point. Kindred 1995 exclamation point. There we go. <laughs> we in the game. <laughs> we in the game. That's how you know I'm a true Kindred, that I got a passcode for my Wi-Fi. Kindred, 1995. You know what I'm saying? The best year of the motherfucking decade. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Let me look this up. The best things that happened in 1995. The best things that happened in 1995. Boy, y'all ain't talking about 1993, old ass. Um, MJ, Michael Jordan returned to the NBA. DVDs were invented. Toy Story premiered in New York. Bill Clinton was still the president. Playboy became legal again. Playstations hit the US. The internet took the fuck off. OJ got set free. Oh boy. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. This requires too much, like trying to recover. Like, what's the point of me? Why do I have to verify iClouds if I know my password and email address? Like, it's just so much. To make sure we're always at our best, all calls are recorded. Hi, this is Najee. I have a um. Okay, thank you.
back today is saturday and me and the girls we're gonna go have dinner tonight meet ugly and mary which i'm super excited so the other day when i went to my virtual office to pick up my package um i came home and i opened it and it was actually from this company called saints parry super excited it's a clothing brand and they sent like some really cute pieces in here so i'm excited because tonight i'm gonna wear one of their outfits so when i got the phone call and they was like, oh, you have a package here. And I was like, from, and they said it. And I was like, oh, oh, we got some goodies. We got to go pick up. Oh, damn. Y'all was super excited. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up right now and show you guys everything that came into the box. And they also gave me a discount code to share with you guys so you can get some coins off of your purchase. So, yeah, let's just get right into this box, okay? The struggles of trying to be a lifestyle influencer. Okay. This is real. This is some, this is like some hard, hardcore, hard shit. You know what I'm saying? Whoever said this shit was easy <laughs> is lying because this shit is not easy. I'm about to go ahead and uh, talk to you guys. I'm about to go ahead and put this on a hanger and hang it up. It's gonna also to be a part of the reels. This is hard. I don't know where they came from. Sometimes I have like random outbursts. In a way. They sent me a medium in this set. I think this set is so cute. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. Oh, by the way, happy Black History Month, guys. Happy Black History Month. Gotta figure out how we're gonna celebrate Black History Month uh, on this channel, but. Okay, yeah, this is like this really cute two-piece set that they sent. It's 100% um, silk, so it's these silk like trousers and button-up. I think that this is so cute. They did send a medium, because I was like, I'm not no medium, why are you saying mediums? But I tried the shirt on in the blouse, um, I, I like that like oversized like look with this fit. It's giving me like very much elegant and like sophisticated and still sexy. The pants are a medium as well and they do fit a little big, but I'm okay with that. Like I'm totally okay with this outfit looking a little like oversized, you know? Um, I think I probably would have preferred for the pants to be a small and um, Yes, yeah, so that way, you know, it show the booty. But it's okay, we don't have to show our goods all the time. You know what I'm saying? To be considered sexy, so yeah. We're just getting, literally, we're just getting like little clips because y'all know, reels needs to be kind of short because um, if not, we gonna lose the audience's attention. So, you know, everybody's attention is kind of like, have a short attention span. Wait, I need to back it up. Back it up, go ahead, go ahead, pump it up, go ahead. Right. Pump it up, go ahead, go ahead, pump it up, go ahead. You got to pump it up. Go ahead, go ahead, pump it up. Go ahead, go ahead, pump it up, go ahead, go ahead, pump it up, go ahead. Pump it up, go ahead, go ahead, pump it up, go ahead. You got to pump it up. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't need to do that. <laughs> Who used to be cheerleaders out here? Who was a high school varsity cheerleader and high school competition cheerleader and or? I like absolutely miss cheerleading. That used to be my shit, okay? Okay, that's not bad. All right, we're gonna rock the that. We're not gonna be do that because anybody got time. But, okay, so they sent me this really cute, nice black t-shirt. Um, I think it's a men's t-shirt, I don't know, but um, I accidentally got bleach on it. 
and I'm so mad, but I did already wear it. I wore it yesterday when me, Mary, and Ozzy were hanging out. Yesterday, I wore it with some really cute, like, sparkly diamond boots in this bomb leather jacket that I got from Ovali. And then, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. <laughs> yeah, that was your girl. She was looking cute with that. <laughs> and then they also sent some boxer briefs in a size medium. They're too big for me. I wish they sent them in a small because I definitely would have been rocking them. I probably should, like try to figure out how I can take a picture with this and like the t-shirt and like make it look sexy for Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Because you're trying to be like more sexy. You're trying to bring a little bit more sex appeal on the gram. And then they also sent the same style t-shirt but in this pretty mauve color. Absolutely love it. Um, definitely gonna have to figure out how I'm going to wear this because <laughs> And the material is like so good. I wonder if it has like a tag on the inside to say. Yes. So it is a, uh, what is it called? Mercurized mer 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 <laughs> cotton. And then it's like 12% spandex. So it's like a stretchy cotton material. Oh my God. Like jerseys. What, like I don't know it, I don't know it just feels so good so so chic the quality of um, these t-shirts are superb okay and then they also sent they also sent this really cute bag with their name on it St. Perry this is so cute it's just an all black tote bag so I'm gonna wear this tonight as well um, yeah, I'm so excited. So excited. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I can tell that this is a new brand and uh, I'm excited to see their growth because their quality of their products and merchandise is <laughs> superb. Okay. So I'm going to put this in my closet. And then I'm going to start doing my makeup and stuff because we have a reservation at 9.30 and I still have to go pick up Mary because Mary drove yesterday. So it's my turn to drive, you know what I'm saying? We gotta take turns. We gotta take turns. And um, Ugly, she's like, <laughs> Ugly is like, paranoid. She's like paranoid when it comes to driving. So I wouldn't even, X on the drive because that girl don't even like parking, okay? Or I don't know, whatever. But yeah, I want to do a smoky eye tonight since my office only black, and I haven't did a smoky eye in so long. So I'm trying to like literally hurry up. I'm so glad that I got my lashes done. Um, I was not feeling my lashes before. I was like, uh, I look like a, I'm about to fly away. D just definitely wasn't the style. But when I did my makeup yesterday. I was like, okay, the lashes look good with the makeup on. The lashes look pretty darn good with the makeup on. So I'm definitely pleased with my lashes. My battery's about to die. Ugh. But I'm definitely pleased about my lashes because it's like one less step that I have to do. Literally. One less step that I have to do when getting ready. Ooh, this concealer. I have so much concealer. It's okay. I need some more foundation because your girl is definitely one in love. And I have to make sure this highlight and contour is um killing the girls when I go outside. Okay. Make sure it's killing the Kendrick's when we go outside. I make sure the makeup is like on point. You heard me? You heard. And what else? Oh, and I need my eyeshadow palette. Hey Google. Play, do we have a problem? Do we have a problem by Nicki Minaj? Sure, playing on YouTube music. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh -huh. Corners in the paddock, get my piece. A push a piece. Uh, cop no hair, I'ma fuck my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff Spot. Jeff a piece. Drop the dot and now we plot. Inside a piece. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian. Push a piece. Push a piece. 
On capital P, I write the president, count presidents. Push P. Portuguese on her knees, mopping down a P. She let me squeeze, then she leave, cause she keep a P. Private speak, privacy, jump pushing P. Purple paint, pink, push a P. 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 Yeah. Push a P. Push a P. Push a P. Push a P. Yeah. Pop a P. A paranoid, I keep not sleep with pockets deep. Got rest on me, why they watching me? I'm pushing P. Pushing P. Pushing P. Pushing P. Yeah. Watch it, uh, never Watch it, P. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Hey, Google. Fucking asshole. She's a fucking asshole. Um, going to dinner with uh, my two friends. So I'm like, yeah. So I'm like, huh? Yeah, I am. Just going to dinner. Um, about to put on my shoes now. Good night, work any day? Yeah, she got her hair done. It's late. Something it is. Oh, okay. It's the weekend. Oh, yeah, that's true. That is true. That's funny because Joe's son right here, he said the same thing. He said, who does hair this late? <laughs> For real? <laughs> Joe says, that lady's only 7.40. He said, that's late. <laughs> said, uh, who does hair this time of night? <laughs> <laughs> what she do today? Oh, nothing. We went to that little rebash shit. Oh, her birthday? <laughs> Everyone on the same. Oh, okay. I had to work still. Oh, true. We got the house, so we gotta move. I'm hyped. Y'all moving? Y'all got a new house? Yes, girl. I'm excited. Yes. These pants is huge, though. I wish I had time to get them tailored, but I want to make. I want to wear them tonight. I have to just take a safety pin and have right, some. Okay. You know, I don't wear stuff like that in a way. Oh. But yeah, it's cute. Because okay. you got accessories to make it look like that. Yeah. Okay, this is outfit of the day by St. Harry. We have the, the bag that they sent me, which is super cute. I love how I can fit myself in it. And then this two-piece 100% silk set, which is fabulous. And then my wig, I have my gold presidential jewelry and my JBW watch. And yeah, keeping it cool and simple tonight. I'm here for it. I'm gonna take an extra fit, not to wear, but to take pictures in tonight. This is the dress that I'm going to take just pictures in. And it got like some gloves. And I'm going to wear the same jewelry and the same shoes. So, um, yeah, while they're probably changing into their outfit, I'm most likely just going to wear this because I can. All right. Let me head up out of here. I packed a um, backup, like two, well, one dress. This is a black dress. Keeping it simple. All right, let me have the door because I'm running late per usual. <laughs> Thank you. I can move you a bugaboo, a bugaboo.
a burger I wanna put your number on call by Not hot, then when I'm blocking your phone number, you call me over your best friend's house. And it's not hot that I can't even go out with my girlfriends without you tracking me down. You need to chill out with that mess, cause you can't keep having me stressed. Cause every time my phone rings, it seems to be you, and I'm praying that it is someone else. So what? You bought a pair of shoes. Very nice, just went into some cute photos. I'm gonna put them right here. Baby looking good. Looking good. You look thicker than a motherfucking snicker girl. That's not true. Yeah. You look good. Thank you. 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 What you coming, nigga? This ain't my story about rags to riches, it's more about how I master physics. Uh -huh. In a game, I used to train like Rocky, catching chickens. Yeah. I was nice, but they was right when they told me that rapper business. I right. had 10 bands in my stash when I passed over half a million. Comedian, no good. Don't be Cause what was she talking about? Extra shit like what? Why are you doing extra shit out there siding with a fucking psycho ass, crazy ass, fucking a teaching seeking ass, fucking trifling ass bitch? Why would you do that? You supposed to be my friend. Why the fuck you want me to be mad? Why do you want me to be mad at this situation? Don't you want me to be a better person? Don't you want me to not resort to um fucking a bitch up? No, no we don't. I'm not about to sit here and talk about somebody that you don't like and be like, oh, she think you a bitch ass nigga. No, I ain't handled. Because I'm trying to be the bigger person and I didn't get the last motherfucking lick. So no, it hasn't been handled because I'm trying to be the bigger person. No, I ain't get my motherfucking last lick. You see this weird ass bitch fucking trying to ruin fucking relationships and shit. So that was her last lick. I didn't get my last lick, but I'm trying to be cool. It ain't gonna be nothing is my point. I'm going to be the bigger person and I'm going to move on with my fucking life. And whoever is coming with me can come with me. And whoever chooses to, to not can fucking not. Cause I know me. So it's when you know you and you're and you're comfortable with self when it comes to situations or situations, then you have no reason to be like, uh, uh, uh. you know, I had that moment where I was like, wow, that's some fucked up shit. But now it's kind of like, okay, either you idiot. If you hear, you're not. You know what I mean? You know you push your piece, so you ain't have to do it. Period! Period! You know you push a pee. So, I ain't stressing nothing. I ain't stressing no outside, no outside dilemmas. That's what I'm not stressing, no outside dilemmas. No stressing no outside. No outside dilemmas, like, no outside shit. I already got enough shit going on with myself. Think about me, stress about some outside shit? Heck, I don't give a fuck how long I've known you. Hell no. Stress me out. Make me sad for no fucking reason. Okay, let me turn this camera back on. Oh. Hmm. I look crazy. Okay, so I went to TJ Maxx and I picked up a few things. I really just went in there to pick up in the kitchen. But I really just blah, blah. I originally just went in there to pick up some bins to put underneath my bed. I got a new bed that I have to put together and I have to store like you know some lounge clothes, workout clothes, stuff like that underneath the bed. So I went and got some cute monochromatic simple um bins that I can store that stuff in. And then I also came across other stuff that I was like, oh this would be like aesthetically pleasing in my vlogs and stuff, you know. 
So I got um, two clear coffee mugs because I've been making me some really cute like iced coffees lately, but I've been putting them in glasses like this. And which is fine, that's like not a problem, but I thought that it would be super cool for me to get a clear glass mug so I can make my teas and iced coffees in in the morning. And you know, it'd be like a whole vibe for y'all in the vlogs and on Instagram and on my reels and stuff. So cute, gotta invest in the business, you know what I'm saying? But this is cute. And then, um, so yeah, I got that. That was on sale for $12.99. And then I also got this. This is on sale for $3. I just thought this would be perfect for the kitchen and the sink because I've just been like tossing the the um the sponge and soap and stuff underneath the sink, and I absolutely hate that. I used to have like a bigger one at my old apartment um, that was bronze because my thing was bronze back then and I had it inside where I used to store all that stuff. But this is cute. I figured this can go like right into the sink. Um, and then these cute white sponges or cream sponges, these were $2.99 from um, TJ Maxx as well. Oh, not TJ Maxx, I'm sorry, Home Goods. So these are cute because the sponges that I have right now um, are good. They're from, mm -hmm, let me see, I forgot. Oh. They're from Grover. If you guys aren't familiar with Grover, um, I'll tell you guys about them later. Remind me to remind y'all. Or remind me, or I'm gonna remind myself to remind y'all to tell y'all about Grover. Um, it's like a monthly subscription thing that I absolutely love. But my mom put me onto it. But um, yeah, so I got me some cute little nice little sponges. I just love these to wash dishes and to like clean up a little bit or whatnot. Okay, cool. So I got that. And then I also got me a tea kettle because y'all been seeing me like, boil, I don't know, I be trying to hide it in my vlogs because I be thinking it looks so tacky. But I just use my pot to boil my water um, for my teas and stuff. So I'm like super excited to have an actual tea kettle. I think this is so cute and this is going to be a total vibe. This is going to be a total vibe for not only content, but just for the home in general. You know, once I finish making my place a home, I probably will feel so much better about being here in Atlanta. <laughs> Honestly, because this place could is definitely on the verge to be in a vibe, all right? And then, what else? Oh, so in my bathroom, I have like this area of like shelves, right? I'm, I don't know if you guys have seen it before, but they're like built in shelves in the wall. And that's where I keep like my perfume and my jewelry and stuff like that. Um, but it's just like laid out on the shelves and I absolutely hate that. And that's just like not a vibe. And we're trying to like make this place a vibe, you know? So I did come across these really cute accent pieces. I was originally going to send them to a friend, like um, send like pictures of them to a friend because she, I guess that story doesn't matter, but I ended up just picking them up for myself. So these are like cute little accent pieces that I thought would look super cute on the shelves. Um, really cute gold accent pieces. Cause my theme in here is like gold, silver, white, cream, beige, little hints of black, you know, stuff like that. And then I saw this really cute, not rubber band man, only Yoli 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 24 five, something like that. Anyways, um, yeah, my camera died. But I did come across this really cute, like this gives me like Disney vibes. I don't know where this, or, I don't know, for some reason this gives me Disney vibe. I thought this was so cute. I was like, oh, this is a vibe. So I got this, this was, but it was like 10 bucks though. But I feel like it's worth it. It's like a cute little accent piece that's gonna look so cute. So these are the three accent pieces that I got from Home Goods. Such a vibe, so cute, such a vibe. And now for like my jewelries and perfumes, so that way it's just not like all laid out. I look so dusty. Oh my God. So that way it's not all laid out on the 
bare counter naked. We're going to work on a little project a little later. Or a little later on this week. Um, I got this like jewelry box or whatnot that I can put some of my jewelry pieces in. I actually don't have tons of jewelry pieces. I feel like I do, but they're still in boxes, but I'm not worried about those because I don't wear those every day. This is where like my everyday jewelry is gonna go, just to keep it like simple, just to keep the aesthetic simple and clean and cute and like classic. So this is like a cute gold jewelry box that I got um, from TJ Maxx. This is by Rachel Zoe. And then, I did get this cute glass tray also by Rachel Zoe, um, that this is where I'm gonna put my perfumes and stuff. Um, for now, like for now. Cause I could utilize this for like jewelry, but for now I'm gonna use this to place my perfumes and stuff. I'll probably get like a stackable, like shelf situation for my perfumes. So that way I'll probably do that like a little later on. But as of right now, we're gonna utilize this for our perfumes and this for our day-to-day, -day, everyday jewelry. So we're gonna get that bathroom together like to the T eventually. <laughs> That's a project that we're gonna work on later. And uh, yeah, that's literally everything that I got from TJ Maxx. Not TJ Maxx, but I keep saying that. Home goods. And now I'm about to go ahead and start prepping dinner. And I'll have this project that I have to finish for school. And then I'm going to shower, decompress, um, and um, set up these wigs so that way they can air dry so that way I can ship them off tomorrow. So that's going to be the remainder of my night. We're going to be pushing pee tonight, okay? Let go. Push the beat. Yeah, push the beat. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh -huh. I like on the beats. Pointers in the paddock, get my peace. Push your pee. <laughs> Cop new hammers for my beat. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at the spot. Get my peace. Drop the data, now we plotting. She's out of peace. She not a lesbian for peace. She turned lesbian. Push your pee. Push a P. A capital P, I write the president, I'm president. Push P. Portuguese on her knees, my banana P. She let me squeeze, then she need, then she keep the P. Private speed, privacy, bitch, I'm push a P. Purple paint, pussy paint, bitch, I'm push a P. 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 A paranoid, I can't sleep with pockets deep. Got rest on me, why they watching me? I'm pushing push a pee, push a pee, push a pee, push a pee. Other day and we have just like so much to do today I just got out of class and someone literally just booked a same day appointment um, so she'll be here in like yeah she'll literally be girl she would literally be in here in like 20 minutes and I was supposed to meet a new client at my virtual office in about an hour but I'm gonna have to call her FaceTime her and have her meet me here um, so that way I can check out her wig, make sure everything's good to go, keep it if it needs to be customized because her appointment is booked for um, Friday, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, um, she's coming on Friday. So um, uh, my the client that's coming today, she's coming with a wig that her and I aren't too fond of. Um, but we're gonna see if we can make something shake. If not, I'm hoping that I can um, sell her this uh, blonde wig which is like super cute I got it from a love me hair they sent it to me and wanted me to do some content on it so it would be perfect if she was interested in her natural hair if I'm not mistaken is already blonde so I think that this would be like a perfect look for her so we're gonna like cross our fingers that we can sell this to her get our content and um, 
yeah it'd be like a knock two birds out in one stone type of day and then i also had some wigs that i needed to ship out today but unfortunately they're not gonna be able to get shipped out they're gonna have to wait until in the morning which is perfectly fine um because i'll just um pay for priority shipping for them and um i'm going to be using cheese products today so i'm gonna go ahead and use their um infratexture um holding spray on my hair and i'm also going to just set this stuff up over there at my station and um, use this stuff on my client's hair today so once again thank you she um for sending this stuff to me super excited Start no trouble with me. Trying to keep it peaceful is a struggle for me. Don't pull up at 6 a.m. to cut on me. You know how I like it when you loving me. I don't want to die for them to miss me. Yes, I see the things that they wish in on me. Hope I got some brothers that outlive me. They gon' tell the story it was different with me. God's plan. God's plan. I hold back sometimes I won't I feel good sometimes I don't I finesse down Western Road hey, My go down is G-O-D I go hard on Southside G I make sure that Northside E And still Bad things it's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 they hey, She said, do you love me? I tell her only partly. I only love my bed and my mama. I'm sorry. Fifty dollars. even got a teddy on me. Eighty-one, that bring the crashes to the party. And you know me. Turn the out two into the out three, dog. Without 40 Alley, there'd be no me. Imagine if I never met the broskies. I can't do this on my own. Someone watching this shit close. I've been me since Scarlet Road. Not go down as GOD. I go hard on Southside G. I make sure that Northside E And still Bad things It's a lot of bad things That they wish and 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 on me huh. Bad things It's a lot of bad things That they wish and 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 on me Huh. Bad things, it's a lot of bad things that they wish and 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 they Today was a very productive day. Today was fun. She loved her hair. I love when my clients love their hair. That's where the true gratification comes in. It's not getting paid at the end. It's whether or not you like your hair or not. I want you to be happy. So that um, made me feel really, really, really good. And she looked really, 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 really pretty. So yeah. Hmm. I thought I had something in my nose. But now I'm about to go ahead and I still have like some work to do. I'm not gonna mess with. I'm trying to get myself together. But I really gonna mess in front of y'all. All the time, so I'm pretty sure I don't give a fuck. But yeah, I'm about to. Oh, y'all probably like, what's that in your mouth? So my dentist put like this gooey stuff over my mouth to protect my like tooth area. Um, so I've had this in my house for like the past 24 hours, but I have to go back to my dentist tomorrow, and he's gonna like check it out and make sure everything's okay, everything's good, and I think he's gonna remove it. But anyways, yeah, I now have to 
my camera just keep dying. So now I'm about to go ahead and customize these uh, two wigs back here that I didn't get to take to the post office. Then I have to take to the post office in the morning. <laughs> I'm tired. So I'm gonna finish doing my magic on those. And then I'm gonna start making me some dinner because your girl is starving. And then I also have a project that I have to do, a presentation that I have to do tomorrow for class. Which I'm a little nervous about because I'm just a little lot of nervous about it. But we gotta get her done. So, and then I also have a canvas paint, a canvas drawing that I have to do. I don't, I don't, Look, it's so much. I have to clean up my PayPal. I have to edit my booking site. I also have to um, run through my email real quick, send a few emails, my gosh. And then um, I think like pay like a bill or two. And then, yeah, adulting, adulting, adulting can be fun. Adulting can be fun, but adulting is stressful. Adulting is hard. Trying to manage like all of this stuff at once by yourself is just hard. So my adulting experiences have been a little difficult, a little, a little challenging, you know what I'm saying? But I'm up for the challenge, you know? Just gotta keep busting our ass until we get to where we desire to be in life, you know? I got some time. Your girl got some time. <laughs> mm, but yeah, I'm just like really honestly just enjoying my view right now. Um, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. I have a lot of stuff like going on and a lot of things that I can be like pissy about. But ultimately at the end of the day, after I get those tears out and after I get those thoughts out, I look at my view of my apartment. <laughs> and it's not even about the apartment, but it's just like looking at having this view and just seeing life out there. Um, really, it's very humbling and I'm just grateful. Ultimately, I'm just grateful. Happy to be alive. But anywho, let me get back to work. That's even though I had Google reminded me at 5.45, she was like, what time is it right now? No, not at 5.45, it was 4.45. She was like, it's 4.45, it's time to wrap up your work day and prepare for dinner. I'm like, but I'm not finished. <laughs> but I'm not finished, so I gotta keep on working. But it's cool. I'm tired, y'all, I know y'all can tell. Okay, so it is a new day, and I'm about to go ahead and wash my hair, okay? <laughs> tonight, I'm going to be kicking it with Posh, it's her birthday, so we're going to be celebrating her birthday tonight, and yeah, I literally have like an hour and a half to get myself completely together. I'm going to be installing one of my wigs. I've been working on this wig for a while now, and I'm super excited because I finally got the color the way I wanted to get the color. <laughs> so I'm super excited to um, install this wig on camera for you guys, and I also want to show you guys the difference between my wigs and one of those like affordable wigs because I'm so sick of people saying like, Oh, her wigs are so expensive. Da, 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 da. No, my wigs are expensive. One, because it's good quality. HD lace, custom to your head size, and I don't want women's show, okay? It requires labor, so you're paying for my labor and the good quality hair and lace, all right? So, yeah, I mean, to be honest, it's kind of like, it just depends on your preference. Like, do you want a pair of Dior shades or do you want a pair of $20 shades from Shein? I mean, either or is cool. It's just all in your preference, so... Um, yeah, y'all can stop saying that. And we also have shop now and pay later on the website now. So I don't want to hear no excuses of why you're not supporting your girl. Okay. And her hard earned hustle. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, um, actually my camera's about to die, which is great. So I can let it charge while I shower and wash my hair. So I'll be right back. Hey Google. Hey Google. Hey Google. Pause. Okay, so I just finished washing my hair, but I didn't get all of the uh, glue out residue. So I'm going to be using Boho Lace Remover and a warm rag to just like wash, I mean wipe the rest of that stuff off. And then I'm going to quickly blow dry my hair. What I washed my hair with was Pattern Shampoo and Conditioner for Coily Hair. Love that stuff. I was using... Um, 
I forgot the other shampoo and conditioner. I'm gonna put it right here. Um, and I absolutely loved it. And it didn't leave my scalp like super flaky, the shampoo. Sometimes I feel like the pattern shampoo um, leaves my scalp prone to like being like super flaky, but I still like the way it makes my hair feel in the conditioner. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly blow dry my hair and um, slick it back into a bun and do my ball cap method. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into this instant. Okay, so that literally, I have a burn mark on my forehead from the hot comb, but that literally took two seconds to take all of that off. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I'm using the Bold Hold Lace Remover. And I just used a rag and I just literally wiped it off. You only need a little bit, you don't need a lot, and it comes right off. And I used like a fine tooth comb to just like comb out the rest of the residue, residue, and that was it. So I'm about to go ahead and blow dry and hurry up because it's eight o'clock already. So I'm gonna have an hour to get ready. So these, this is a wig that's from um, one of those affordable like brands and I'll leave like, examples right here of like the type of companies that I'm talking about. And uh, this wig typically is just one size um, and you have like these little straps right here where you can like tighten the perimeter of the wig to fit you but it's definitely a hit or miss in regards to like depending on your like your head size. And this is the, like one of the wigs. And like for this wig, I have definitely worn this wig a few times and it sheds like freaking crazy. Um, not a bad wig, definitely a good affordable wig, um, especially if you just want to keep a wig on for like a couple weeks and that's it, or you don't wear wigs like that or whatever. But if you want to really truly invest in your hair and invest in your wig and have your wig for a very, 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 very long time. Okay, even with HD lace, my wigs last. Like, I've had one of my frontal HD lace wigs for over a year and a half. And um, the only reason why it lasted or it didn't last longer than that is because I was being too rough on it and I like ripped it, tear it a hole in the lace. But so you gotta be very sensitive, very careful when it comes to like HD lace. But yeah, and this is like one of um, my wigs. It is stitched via sewing machine, double stitched. HD lace um, made specifically for your head size and head measurements. I'm gonna go ahead and um, add an elastic band inside of the wig so that way I can make this process uh, a little easier. So the type of like elastic bands that I put in the wigs are the adjustable like bra strap type of bands. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew that in here so that way it can be glueless. So that way I can go ahead and cut the lace before I start melting it down so that way I can really see um, how I'm installing it. So, um, sorry I'm not talking to you guys right now, but I'm like really in a rush because it's 8.30, so I have 30 minutes to do my hair, makeup, and get dressed. Wish me luck. <laughs> Goes bad, it's not the end of the world, it's just the end of the world that you have with one girl. Just the reason it happened, but she's overreacting, and it's all because she don't want things to change. So cry if you need to, but I can't stay to watch you. That's the wrong thing to do. Touch if you need to. Talk if you need to, but I can't stay here. It's the wrong thing to do. 
Yeah. Okay, so I think with this dress is giving sophisticated. Mm -hmm. So just think like when you like that's the vibe of like sophisticated for that. This used to be my go-to, which is hilarious. Just like this. For real. This used to be my go-to. You want to do a Mm-hmm. And then when we were underway, when whenever we were underway in the military, and I didn't have to wear like a hat and cover, I used to wear my hair like this too, with my my jumper with my jumper and they used to be like ooh they used to be hating <laughs> them bitches used to be hating on the ship I swear to god what happened? What you they just always used to complain like um you can't wear your hair like that I'm like why not because it won't fit underneath the cover instruction says that it has to fit underneath the cover I said well we're out to sea I'm not wearing a cover <laughs> like what the fuck they used to complain about I swear they used to complain about oh them bitches used to hate me it's okay. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's literally how it is with your the only fucking girl child. Girl child? Huh? You say girl child? Yeah. What that mean? Like when your parents, like when parents have a girl, uh -huh. and like super spoiled and cute, mm -hmm. and do her own shit. Mm -hmm. Like, okay. Yup. <laughs> yup. That's exactly how it was. Fucking bitches. Them bitches did not like me. That's okay. It's fine. This is motherfucking fire. You said it is? Duh, you don't see me looking at your fucking self. I ain't finished. I'm looking at the hair. I ain't even looking at myself yet. I didn't even get to tweeze it. This bitch need to be whispied the fuck out. Whispied out? Whispied the fuck out. I'm sure you want to see my name. Hey, photo, I'm so glad that you went with the drop down first because that was not. What? What you mean the drop down? Huh? The Nicki Minaj pose. Oh, with the black outfit? Yeah. You say you happy I went with that one? Yeah, the drop down one? Uh -huh. Yeah. It's the first one because it came. Do we have a problem? Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> I'm stooping down to your level. Do we have a problem? I wish I had a jacket. We need a jacket. I'll be back. So, yeah. I, do I need to curl it again or no? No, no, no. Do you like that? Okay. And then that's it. That's it. And now we're going to make sure we get a really cute picture. And hopefully this vest is okay. You said. It go with the boots. It go with the boots. It go with the boots. And then. And it's cold outside, so. Yes, you still got a short sleeve and a long sleeve. A long sleeve. Yeah, and the makeup is okay. I love that you keep calling this a coat because now you know. It's not a coat. It's a coat. <laughs> we about this. We about to have some a little bit of fun tonight. We gotta come home at this time because we got stuff to do. We gotta have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Hold up. So what you're saying is Niggas got the fist like little Kim's I've been a lot of places, seen a lot of faces uh -huh. All hell I even fuck with different races A white dude, his name was John He had a queen bee who's tattoo on his arm mm -hmm. He asked me if I'd be his day for the prom And he'd buy me a horse Portion of farm, damn it. From down south, used to like me to sing. Yay, so happy birthday to the prettiest bitch in Atlanta. Okay, okay, y'all missed it. You don't know. I'm about to subscribe my name on the street. You feel me? When you know you're on the motherfucker, who you on the south with? Fuck, that's what I liked about him. He ate my pussy from dark to the moment. Called this girl up and told her we was moaning. Puerto Rican Bobby used to be a deacon. But now he be sucking me off on the weekend. And this black dude, I called him. Here we go. That's a vegan, baby. Girl, you look good. Girl, you look good. Push P. Yeah. Push P. Corners in the paddock in my piece. Oh, push a P. Uh,